Guys, LeVar Arrington coming to you with a playoffs pick edition for, uh, yeah, me picking them against you on Pick Factor. Let's go with the 49ers and the Packers. Packers travel to San Francisco to play the top seeded 49ers in this week's game. A lot of people believe that Aaron Rodgers is the hottest football player in football right now. Uh, that this team is surging at the right time. You get Charles Woodson back, he's healthy now. And this now turns into a very formidable uh, Green Bay team. A lot of people are going with Green Bay. However, I'm not so quick to do that. I'm going to stick with the San Francisco 49ers on this one. They're at home. This defense is very talented. They have a lot of talent on offense as well. I think Kaepernick is, is poised to have a good game. But I also believe that Frank Gore and the rest of those guys, uh, Crabtree and, and Davis, will ultimately uh, loosen up some of that, uh, that defense that may come their way by Green Bay. I'm looking for this to be maybe more of a defensive struggle than, than an offensive explosion. But I would not be surprised if it were a high-scoring affair. But at the end, whichever one it is, I do believe that San Francisco will come out on top in this game. Next game I'm going to choose, obviously, one of the most awesome matchups between player and player. Now, you know this is an ultimate team sport, but talk about two quarterbacks, legendary quarterbacks in terms of quarterback on the defense and quarterback on the offense. you got Peyton Manning for Denver who has had an amazing uh, comeback year. Uh, and Ray Lewis who is on the way out, announced his retirement and was able to beat uh, a tricep injury to come back in and play it just in time for the playoffs. I think that this this Broncos team is a complete team. I think that their defense is is awesome. You you have Champ Bailey in that secondary, you got Doomerville on that defensive line and obviously the freakazoid himself and Von Miller. Uh, it's hard to, to go against that but I just feel like this Ravens team is due for a good performance out of Joe Flacco. You know, last week Ray Rice had a couple fumbles. He's not known for that. I don't see him coming back and having a back-to-back -back bad game. I think Anquan Bolden has finally inserted himself uh, and asserted himself uh, back into this, this offense. Look for Torrey Smith to have a breakout game. And then on defense... The fact of the matter is you lose and Ray's career is over. I think that this 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 defense with, with Kruger playing the way that he is and the poise of the rest of these guys knowing that you had Ray Lewis out there with you. I just had this strange feeling, but I'm going with Baltimore and the Mile High State. Uh, I really believe that they're going to go in and, and knock off the Denver Broncos. And this would be an interesting, I, I would assume, an upset. Uh, if this were to take place, uh, assuming that you'd have to, to think that, that Denver has the better team from top to bottom. But I'm taking Baltimore Ravens in this one. So there it is. You have my two picks. I'm taking San Francisco over Green Bay, and I'm taking the Baltimore Ravens. You may think I'm crazy, but I only know if you go on pickfactor.com and pick against me, and you can leave comments, all kinds of different things like that. Get active, get involved, make sure you jump on Pick Factor. I'm LeVar Arrington. This has been another great edition for me. I'll check you out next week.